do we have here? Bad boy. Bad girl. Get in the rain! The News Tonight presented by Neil Otteson, First National Real Estate. Narricourt, Panola, Robe, Edenhope and Millicent. Mount Gambier's Blue Lake Y swimming squad is heading to the Riverland tomorrow to contest the South Australian Country Championships. The locals finished runner-up last year. This year they've set their sights on the title and a return to their 90s heyday. Another early start this morning for this squad of swimming hopefuls, but it's certainly nothing new. For the past eight months they've swum what amounts to hundreds and hundreds of kilometres in preparation for this weekend's South Australian country titles. The group ranges in age from 10 years to 29, and a number of them are no strangers to competition. We've got some swimmers competing for their 20th year, Brett Clavey and Murray Willem, they're competing, competing for their 20th year this year, so that's one of our highlights. Um, and at the same time, while Brett finishes his 20th year, Ryan Clavey, his nephew, is actually commencing his first year at countries. So that's a, a great achievement for our club. And the other 20 odd um, swimmers are, are coming along and uh, we hope to have a great, a great, uh, great carnival. They'll go up against swimmers from around 24 clubs across country South Australia and they've certainly got their work cut out for them. We were runner-ups last year to Mountain Pool and again they're fielding a very strong team of 24 and we know we've got some strong opposition also coming from Onkaparinga which has a team of 20. Port Pirie's looking very strong, they've got a team of 20 going. So you never know, so I think that's part of the excitement. You go along, you prepare yourself as well as you possibly can, and when you get there, you know that um, you can just do your best. It's an attitude that's well and truly paid off in the past. Blue Lake Y took the title for eight consecutive years from 1986 and won again in 1998 and 1999. The hopes are there they can return to the top in 2001. There's calls tonight for the cream of the region's cricketers to put their hand up for the state country team to play at next year's national titles. They've come from East Gambia captain Daniel Stratford, who's just returned from this year's championship in Western Australia. He's saying there's six or seven players locally who could make a big difference to the team. The pedigree of Daniel Stratford is unquestioned. The East Gambia wicketkeeper batsman has had an outstanding couple of years since returning to the Mount Gambier and District competition. He's just returned from the Australian country titles in Albany as part of a South Australian team that struggled for wins. Yeah, a little bit disappointing from the team point of view. Um, we were very competitive, but we just uh, didn't win a game while we were away. But uh, we were in a position to win three of the five, so that's a good good thing to take away with us. For the 25 year old it was a great experience. Now he's saying there are more players locally who should be picked to make the state country team stronger. Oh definitely the likes of um, you know Michael Sylvie and, and a few other guys like that that certainly could play at that level uh, just for whatever reason don't make themselves available or um, perhaps get overlooked for whatever reason. I think there'd probably be you know a handful six or seven uh, southeast players that could play at that level. Mount Gambia hosted the Australian country titles three years ago. Then six South East players were in the initial squad. The impact that has on the standard of local competitions is enormous. Yeah, I mean, it's excellent cricket going away. You're playing against guys with first class experience and um, for, you know, country guys to go away and play against that sort of competition is just fantastic. So hopefully we can bring a little bit back to our own club competition here and, uh, you know, make South Australian cricket a little bit better. The entries will start to flood in from tomorrow morning for one of the region's longest running fishing events. The Kingston Surf Fishing Contest is into its 22nd year and the organisers have again put up $10,000 worth of prizes. The same faces tend to keep coming back to the Kingston Surf Fishing Contest. The aim is to catch the biggest mulloway possible along an 83 kilometre stretch of beach stretching up to the southern Coorong. The organisers still claim the title of the largest surf fishing event in Australia. Last year, 1,122 entries came in. Murray Bridges' Geoffrey Gibbs walking away with the $5,000 dinghy, outboard and trailer for landing a 6.2 kilogram mulloway. Fellow competitors will be hoping he doesn't show up this year. He's one of the few people to have won the overall prize twice. Entries for the competition are already open. They will continue up until the starting time of 2 o'clock Saturday. Any fish must be landed by 9 o'clock Sunday morning to be eligible for the prizes. The experts are hoping the odds will be stacked a little more heavily in favour of the fishermen this year, 
In 2000, only 59 fish were caught. And that wraps up Thursday Night Sport. Jeff will join you again after the break with all the weather details. She spends all day tracking down the scum of New York. I understand this guy, Don. He hates women who take control. What happens when the scum comes looking for her? Benson. Hi, Olivia. All new Law and Order SVU, 9.30 tonight. Presenting another major event for the Limestone Coast. The Kingston Lions 22nd Annual Surf Fishing Competition. 2 p.m. Saturday, January the 20th till 9 Sunday morning. There's over $10,000 in prizes to be won, including a 3.8 metre aluminium dinghy with outboard motor and trailer, as well as a portable colour television, microwave oven and more. If you can bait a hook and cast a line, race into a participating store and get registered. Adults are $12, juniors are 6. The Kingston Lions 22nd Annual Surf Fishing Competition. Proudly supported by Wind Television. You know, I'm still not 100% on my bears. Well, we can help. For personalised assistance, we can visit you or you can come to us. I think I'd like to talk to someone. Then give us a call and we'll arrange it. OK, then. Authorised by the Commonwealth Government, Canberra. This is Sammy down here at Arena. We're here to find out why everybody's shopping here this summer. Come with me. So is that a great deal you got here at Arena today, girls? Yeah. Is there anything you like for this summer? Yeah. Yeah, the best stuff at Arena. Geez, Arena's got a great selection. You've got great range, great passes, great, great service. service. Try on some swimwear. Here we go. So, why do you shop here? Because my dad works here. Get into Arena! Get the car The Philo 99 cent sale is on now. Juicy nectarines. $2.99 a kilo. Skinless chicken thigh fillets. $5.99 a kilo. Pilo, extra value for you. <laughs> and me. Summer Madness at Millicent Toyota. Get in early for these super hot deals. Holden VS Commodore Ute with alloy wheels and air, just $19,990. Holden Rodeo Dual Cat with turbo diesel, only $26,500. Toyota RAV4 Wagon, fuel injected, 4x4 with low case. Great fun at $22,500. Ford Futura Sedan with air, alloy wheels and low case for only $22,990. And a Toyota Corolla Seeker with air and tinted windows, just $17,990. Hurry in for scorching deals for seven days only at Millicent Toyota. Need new shoes for back to school? Buy two pairs of back to school shoes and get a third pair for half price. That's right, your third pair is half price. Only during back to school at Bets and Bets. When I go to school, People who stutter do not have a mental health disorder but have a breakdown in speech motor skills. Treatment is available and is very successful with young children and teenagers. If you require treatment or would like to support by way of a donation, please contact the Australian Speakeasy Association. Well folks, we're ready for a hot one tomorrow. The upper southeast in the high 30s, the rest of the region mid 30s. Then, Saturday morning, the change. Let's get into it. Around the state today, temperatures range from 46 degrees again at Udnadatta to 19 at Hind Marsh Island. Now, Gambia peaked to 23.9 at 25 minutes to 5 this afternoon. Overnight low, 10.9, 29 minutes past 5 this morning. And Narracourt hit 29 degrees there, the same as Keith right up the top. Let's go to the maps. Well, the high has been with us all week. It remains in charge, folks. It brought the winds in from the southeast today. Tomorrow they head around to the east. Into the afternoon, they'll go northeasterly. That is when the mercury goes up. The first of those fronts, the one down to the south there, is not strong enough to change our conditions. The Bureau is saying the high is far too strong. It will push it right out of there. We'll only see some very uh, light high cloud cover out of that. The second one, though, right down to the southwest of Alamany, is set to arrive mid-Saturday morning. That is the change. Now, that means, of course, tomorrow is going to be a warm one. Our winds are likely to go not to go to the northeast until into the afternoon. So it won't be as warm as we were expecting. The change, Saturday, there it is there. Then it gets much milder for Sunday. Temperatures into the low 20s. Let's have a look at the satellite photo. You can see that first front, uh, there's really no substance to it. That's going to go well to the south of us. The high still in there in charge. The change is that little number in there. It'll pick up some of this high cloud, high to middle level cloud coming across the bite and uh, it will certainly change our conditions, as we say, about mid-morning Saturday. Right, the Western District is heading for a warm to hot and sunny day. Sea breezes into the afternoon. Hot ahead of the change Saturday, then mild to warm Sunday. 
The southeast will be dry with some high cloud tomorrow. Very hot in the upper southeast. Hot at first Saturday with the gusty change coming in the morning. Mild after that, fine and a little cloudy on Sunday. The coast looking at southeasterlies up to 20 knots. Tomorrow seas to a metre on a one to two metre swell. Saturday south to southeasterly winds. Melbourne's looking fine, a top of 32 degrees. Tomorrow getting warmer for the tennis. Adelaide tending for a dry 39 with plenty of sunshine. Down to 33 Saturday. Mount Gambier 34 degrees tomorrow, 11 overnight. Keith 38, Narrakur 37, Coonawarra 36, Hamilton 34 after 11 this evening. And our fine danger ratings, the South East very high, Western Victoria high to very high. All right, our junior forecast of the night. Todd Flavel from Mulga Street Primary School. Good school, that one too. Todd's got the right idea. Looks like a bit of a hammock happening there. That uh, could be just the recipe for this weekend. And that is the news as we saw it this Thursday. Stay with us now for National 9 News from Adelaide. This has been a Win News presentation from Australia's largest regional television network.